today I want to talk about Zoom and other video conferencing services. And what I want to talk about is security. You know, there's been a lot of talk about how secure uh, those services are. And in fact, there's been a big buzz about Zoom having bought another company who had the specific uh, security software or whichever security technology. And now that Zoom is going to be extra secure once they finished acquiring that. And I understand that we want more and more security and we want our meetings to be safe, but I feel like we're overlooking something. And what I think we're overlooking is that all these web conferencing services, they're inherently not secure. They're inherently not safe. And anything you say in those meetings isn't private at all. So let me explain what I mean. Okay, so over here, I very crudely drew how video conferencing service looks. All right, we got a person right here who is communicating with person number two, person number three, and person number four. Yeah, these are like stick figures, something like that. That's the best I could draw. All right, so what they're talking about is like they're talking through a pipe. They talk about through this secure channel. So when we talk about security in Zoom and when we talk about this uh, encryption that was added, what it's talking about is this part right here. So these, the channels of communication, this is what they're securing. Make sure the information that goes here securely makes it here. And same thing to here. So that part is safe. That part is secure. We can understand there is encryption and all that stuff. But what's happening with data over here when it gets to each individual user, this right here, this is where we have no security at all. This is where data just simply leaks out. It just goes everywhere. It goes, gets to the person, but it also goes everywhere else. Now, why do I say data goes everywhere else? Well, we know the person on the end, right? We see them talking to us. But how do we know where that person is physically located? You could be talking to a person who is sitting in a coffee shop and everything you say being broadcasted on a speaker to all the people around you. And same way, whenever they talk, they, whatever they say is being heard. And same thing, the screen of their laptop they're on also could be viewed by anybody. So if a person's in a coffee shop, airport, anywhere in a public place, whatever's happening in your conference is instantly becomes public, no matter how much encryption you use. And you could say like, well, when I'm in a meeting with somebody, I could tell where they're from, if they're at home or if they're somewhere else. But no, you can't. We have virtual backgrounds that Zoom put in there for that purpose so that you could uh, hide your physical location. So somebody technically could be sitting at the airport or somewhere else and everything they say being broadcasted and they're using virtual background and you think that they're sitting at home uh, or maybe somewhere else or maybe at their office. Again, I don't mean to pick on Zoom. Every video conferencing system has this problem. Your users reside in unsecure locations. So no matter what security you're going to put in place, your meetings are not secure, they're not private, and you should not be saying anything confidential in your meetings. The best you can do, best you can do is prevent other people from bombing your meetings. That's really all you're trying to do. Now, if I'm wrong, please tell me in the comment section below. Maybe I'm overlooking something. I don't know. but. It just feels like everyone's on this hype of security and they think that they're so secure and I feel like it is not. So again, am I wrong? Please tell me about it.